Graphic organizers may seem to be just simple visual frames drawn along with lines or arrows, but these are used to represent and organize learning information. Readers are able to examine his or her understanding of the text through graphic organizers. These allow the readers to see the similarities and differences between information presented in the text and their previous knowledge. These also promote higher level thinking skills, increase comprehension, and facilitate long-term retention of information. In this module, there are six graphic organizers. Let's start with the first one. The Venn Diagram A Venn diagram uses overlapping circles or other shapes to illustrate the logical relationships between two or more sets of items. Often, they serve to graphically organize things and highlight how the items are similar and different. The second one is Double Entry Journal. This strategy enables you to responses to text that you read. You, as a reader, write down phrases or sentences from your assigned reading and then write your own reaction to that passage. The purpose of this strategy is to give you the opportunity to express your thoughts and become actively involved with the material you read. Third one, KWLH chart. KWLH chart is a graphic organizer that helps you organize information before, during, and after a unit or a lesson. K stands for helping readers recall what they know about a topic. W stands for helping readers determine what they want to learn about a topic. L stands for helping readers identify what they have learned as they read. And H stands for how they can learn more.
Number 4. The Concept Map Concept mapping visually illustrates the relationships between concepts and ideas. It is often represented in circles or boxes, helping the brain organize and structure thoughts to further understand information and discover new relationships. Number 5. Flowchart A flowchart or a flow diagram is a diagram which represents the sequence of actions in a particular process or activity, and it is a step-by-step -step progression through a procedure. And lastly, number 6, the hierarchical map. This is the most general or the most important concept which is placed at the top of the map and more specific related topics that are linked below it.